question number 9 the table below shows the values of t and the corresponding values of h for a given relation so the table is there t h on the grid provided draw a graph to represent the information on the table given two marks so what you're going to do is just uh, plotting uh, the value of t in the x-axis then h on the y-axis so i've done the plotting so 1 8 1 8 should be there you can see then 2 4 2 4 is there 3 2.7 is there it's good to note the scale of the graph you can see for one centimeter there are five small squares so one small square therefore represents 0 0.2 that will be very important when you're plotting these three 2.7 is there four two then you have five 1.6 is there then for six 1.3 six 1.3 there seven 1.1 and then finally eight one eight one so that is um what you're supposed to have so the next thing you're going to do is to join this point using a smooth curve so that is the curve now the next question is um drawing use the graph to determine correct to one decimal place the rate of change of h at t is equals to three now you need to understand what you mean by rate of change so rate of change is the gradient that is a gradient at t is equals to three so what are you going to do? We are going to draw a tangent, a tangent to that curve, and uh, the tangent will cut that curve at t is equals to three. So let me take the ruler and draw that. So you ensure that the gradient will not the gradient but the tangent you ensure that the tangent uh, touches that curve at t is equals to 3 t is equals to 3 it must uh, pass through that point so that is what I'm doing and when you draw that uh, there is the tangent so you can see it touches uh, exactly at this point this is where the tangent is supposed to touch that curve at t is equals to three now after doing that uh, since to get the rate of change to get the rate of change at t is equals to three we shall get the gradient and to get the gradient that point uh, this is what you're going to do we shall just uh, get two points on that line and that will give us the rate of change the first point uh, is automatically when t is equals to three so get two points so the first point is uh, when t is equals to three then h we read the value of h so we just need to go straight up and read the value of h this is the point so 2.246 so that will give a 2.7 so when two uh, when t is equals to 3 h is equals to 2.7 then we can take another uh, an obvious one that is here uh, this one is the best one to pick 
this one that is here 6060 this one is uh, very much okay so when t is equals to 6 when t is equals to 6 h is equals to 0 now when you get these two points uh, the two points will be 3 2.7 and 6 0 so we use these two points to calculate the gradient. So how do you get the gradient? A change in y over change in x. So therefore, the gradient will be given by change in y, which is 0, subtract 2.7, divided by the change in x, 6, subtract 3. And these will give a negative 2.7, uh, divided by 3. And... Uh, and that is the rate of change at t is equal to 3. So that is how I'm supposed to do that question.